Hi everyone today let us learn about the little bee which works hard to store food for a whole year which is explained by Sir Isaac Watts in a beautiful manner here we can see the work and dedication of the bee through which we should learn to live like the bee now let us read on the poem the little busy bee how does the little busy bee improves each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower how skillfully she builds a cell how neat she spreads her wax and labors hard to store it well with the sweet food she makes in work of labor or of skill i would be busy too for certain find some mischief still for hidden hands to do in book or work or healthful play let my first years be passed that i may give for every day some good accounts at last written by sir isaac watts now let us read on the poem How do the little busy bee improve each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower it means the little busy bee cannot sit for single minute it works every minute of the hour 24 hours a day what is its work its work is to collect honey all the day it means from morning to evening from every opening flower which shows its dedication towards the work this poem tells us to lead the life like a bee it's the time to collect knowledge from the sources like bee which collects honey from the flowers Now let us read on the next stanza of the poem. How skillfully she builds her cell. How neatly she spreads her wax. And labors hard to store it well. With the sweet food she makes. Here in this paragraph we come to know about the knack i.e. skill of the bee. The way it creates its cells to collect honey and the design structure of the cells. Its way of spreading the wax at sea shows its dedication to the work. Now let us read the third paragraph of the poem in work of labor or of skill i would be busy too for certain find some mischief still for idle hands to do it means we should always be busy in doing some work related to hands as well as mind the to doing good work because empty mind and empty hands will always think of negative things so please keep me in right track Now let us read on the last and the fourth paragraph of the poem. In books a work a healthful play. Let my first years be passed that I may give for every day some good accounts at last. It means that please keep me in right track by making me to spend my time in reading books or work or healthful play in my childhood days then only in my future I will become a good citizen of the country and because of this I can give some good accounts at the end of my life. The message we get from this poem is do good and be good.